Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to be talking about the idea of the update actually being delayed. So I actually said in yesterday's video that the update should be out today, Tuesday, and it actually has been delayed. And the reason for that, I will talk about in a moment. But let's talk about when this update is actually going to be out. So on screen right now, you can see a new screenshot posted on Fortnite. I believe it was the French page. And they talk about how it's going to be delayed till Thursday. And they also say a little teaser of Shifty Shafts there as well. So that means we've got mineshafts coming into Fortnite, and I've actually got some early gameplay of what mineshafts will look like in Fortnite on screen right now, so you guys can check that out, which is really awesome as well. So early gameplay of kind of like shifty shafts, it's going to be very similar to this, very sort of like the same sort of aspects and the same things, so expect that in the game. We can also see a different skin there on screen on the left as well, which is pretty cool, but here's some early gameplay of shifty shafts for you guys to kind of get a grasp of what it's going to look like down there. Unfortunately, it's not going to be linking areas to areas, I don't think. And I was thinking about that the other day, and I'll discuss that in another video, why that's not going to be possible yet in Fortnite. But we will go over that in the future. But for now, let's talk a little bit in more depth why this update has been delayed and try and get you to you guys so you can understand exactly what is going on within the Fortnite world. So why is the update being delayed? Now, this is a question that I've been asking myself for a while and thinking, well, why... Why would it be delayed? What's causing an update to be delayed? Well, when it comes down to an update, you have to keep in mind that the release date of the update can be delayed if the quality assurance team discovers some horrors in the test. Now, I'm actually reading this from Twitter. This is actually, uh, it's usually always worth waiting in these cases. So basically what has happened, this is something that Foydo Studios, I, am a, I used to be a Minecraft YouTuber and I still do a few Minecraft things. So I'm gonna relate back to this, but a team called Foydo Studios who developed Minecraft Xbox didn't really have a very good assurance team. And they'd release these updates and tons and tons of bugs would flood in. However, with Fortnite and Epic Games having a bigger budget, obviously they're gonna make sure their assurance team make sure the game is running pretty smooth make sure there's no crazy bugs in it obviously there might be a few glitches there and then but the game will be playable whereas sometimes with 4j versions of minecraft minecraft was unplayable this is just a big comparison because i'm comparing these two because one i played them two fortnite is almost catching up minecraft play account and three fortnite is and minecraft of what i've enjoyed playing well what i don't enjoy playing minecraft as much now but i definitely enjoy playing fortnite so there is why i'm comparing them and it just shows how they've actually delayed it and it's been it's basically gone into cert testing the insurance team and it has been told that there's going to be a bunch of bugs and stuff so they've had to refix them bugs today and tomorrow and then hopefully it'll be out this thursday now there is no guarantee that it's going to be out this thursday they have said it's going to be out this thursday but again if it goes through the assurance team and it has bugs in again then they'll have to delay it the reason we're seeing so many bugs in this and possibly tons and tons of bugs in this version of the game is because there's so much stuff coming in we've never had a new area this major into fortnite really to completely change the style of gameplay and this is going to change this complete style if you haven't checked out yesterday's video go and check it out because i go over the exact map and how the style is going to change and stuff I'm talking about how the meta is going to change if people are landing and stuff like that i definitely think this update is really going to cause that to happen i just want to talk a little bit about future updates within fortnite as well so as we know We've got Fortnite updates coming out every Tuesday, and we've had that for a very long time. It's been near enough a few months now, two, three months, where there's been an update every Tuesday with new content and stuff. But obviously, we've seen a delay with this one. This could also mean that we're going to see a lot more delay. Well, with the bigger updates, we're going to see more delays in the future. And we may even see a two-week delay before the next update. Now, there's nothing wrong with that because these bigger updates are obviously better than getting smaller one content updates. And it's better than getting a bunch of skin packs and stuff or skins where you have to purchase. But I definitely think this is something which we can see in the future happening more often. With the game starting to add more content and get bigger and bigger, we're going to see a lot more delays within the update obviously because they've got to do it for free consoles they've got uh, playstation 4 xbox one and pc so they've got to do it three times make sure all the bugs are removed on each of them and they may find different bugs on different ones We've also had a bunch of problems with the servers recently, especially on the PC side, where people have been trying to get into games or trying to load up the game, and currently the server's full. Now, when that happens, the team has to develop and work on the servers, getting them fixed currently, because that's the current problem, and then they go back to the update. So that's probably one of the major reasons why this update has still got some kind of like bug features in, and it hasn't really come out. It would have usually gone in the insurance team before Tuesday, because obviously that's the aim date, and they did probably get it in the insurance team around about Sunday, Monday, a bit, probably a bit earlier, and then obviously they check through the game a bit and then if there's problems they send it back and obviously there has been problems this time so they've sent it back so that's what's happened there within the epic games like offices shall i say there's nothing wrong with this happening it's really good because it means we don't have a game which is really buggy and i think it's something sometimes you guys just gotta just know that the game developers aren't always going to be perfect and they can't always get the game 
perfect straight away off first development. They have to go through testing and stuff. Obviously, it's perfect from their point of view, but once it goes through testing, there's a bunch of people that test it and make sure the game is 100% playable or near enough 100, 99% playable, and there may be a few bugs there and then. But they do do that, and they've they've done it, and they've done a great job. It's a good to, it's a good sign to see that it's going into assurance testing because it means it's going to come out even better, and it means we won't have too many problems hopefully when the update does drop. Now, this is something which has happened on previous games, like I was saying before, like Minecraft and stuff, where they, they go into cert testing and they really don't do much in cert testing. They don't test enough. They don't have worlds. They just use default worlds. And you used to be able to get stuff like you used to go on it. You save, wouldn't save. It would erase, saves it, uh, uh, erase saves, and it would just completely remove them from your hard drive. And it just really wasn't very good. And it's not what people wanted within the game. I think people wanted more of a reliable update especially when we're waiting so long so for this for a game like fortnite bringing out such a big update because it basically is a is a half the map is near getting covered in brand new content so it's going to be really cool and they've retextured everything and stuff so like trees and that and that's why it's probably been quite buggy but we have to just take that in mind that it's most likely going to release this thursday we can't 100 percent guarantee it like i said we there's no way of 100 percent guarantee because obviously it's going to have to go through assurance testing again it's not they can't just be like here's the update it has to go through all these testing regulations now with an xbox and playstation 4 it, it has to also get tested by Microsoft and Sony and make sure it's got no viruses and stuff like that because it isn't going onto X. It's going onto a third-party platform technically. I don't think Epic Games work close with Microsoft or Sony. They're kind of like a third-party company. Obviously, they had Gears of War and stuff like that, but it is they've gone for third-party for this style of game. Whereas PC, obviously, that's a little bit different. You can sometimes push out updates a bit quicker but obviously with them being such a massive game currently they want to have the update out on every single console at this roughly the same time within an hour of each other or so so that everybody can have the update at the same time they don't want pc players covering the content early like with minecraft and stuff like that so that's why we can see the update being delayed we don't know exactly where the bugs are currently with it being delayed the bugs could be on the playstation side it could be on the xbox side it could be on the pc side we don't know exactly where the bugs are but obviously with them wanting to release the game all at the same time or should i say the update at the same time this is why it's being delayed and it's nothing bad i think you guys just i know a lot of you are a bit confused and stuff i've had a few tweets asking and i just think we've just got to chill down and We'll have to just wait two days. It's not too bad. And when it does drop, it's going to be absolutely insane. Tell me where you guys are going to be landing when this new update drops because it is really interesting to see exactly where you want to land. I am really looking forward to it. I'm really excited to hopefully see a lot of people landed at Tilted Towers. That's going to be really awesome. I'm also really excited to see people finding maybe new glitches and stuff like that. Now, I did make a glitch video and I got quite a bit of hate for it. And obviously, the I want to find glitches that aren't overpowered. I want to find glitches that are good glitches that can be like say a glitch how you can get on top of a roof or something maybe there's a spot you can't get to or maybe there's a spot you still can be killed in but it's just like a cool glitch and things like that or maybe an easter egg or something like that find some easter eggs i just love finding little things like that and showing them you guys even if they are maybe not looked on by everyone in the same way i think it is cool to show you guys little errors and stuff in the game maybe easter eggs or glitches and there's a bunch of easter eggs that will probably be added well soon hopefully i, d I don't know 100 percent, but maybe they might see some easter eggs in this update we don't know so things like at glitches easter eggs little little gimmicks within the game are pretty cool and it just just gives a little different touch to the channel sometimes it's not something i just want to cover 24 7 but if there is a glitch or if there is like something that's really glitchy maybe for example the m16 is glitching out and it's single fire or something cool like that that'd be really awesome obviously that's probably not going to happen but maybe you may be able to like do a glitch where you drop an m16 pick up a pistol and it holds them both at the same time and fires them both or just little funny glitches like that would be really cool to cover on the channel so just little bugs like that but obviously most of that's probably going to be patched within this assurance team right? i think it's a really good job and epic games have done a really good job with fortnite so far but I just want to say well done and congratulations to them because it has been really enjoyable playing the game. It's been enjoyable covering it on YouTube. And I'm glad that the assurance team is there as well to make sure these updates are coming out at a good pace and they're making sure that the updates aren't 100% corrupt. Obviously, we're going to see a delay on this update. Will this delay updates in future? I'm not too sure if we'll see an update until at least not this, not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after because this one's going to be a major one. And obviously, there's probably going to be a few bugs they want to fix there and then. And they'll probably leave a little gap as well because they've released one obviously this is coming out on thursday and if they release one on tuesday there's not much of a gap at all there there's not even a week gap so we're having a big delay there well an instant update which really won't be p possible unless maybe if it's a bug fix you could possibly see it but if it's not a bug fix and it's new content we'll probably see it on the following tuesday not not the next tuesday the tuesday after so two weeks today so hopefully one of the day i'm recording the video hopefully we'll see like that 
in the future. We'll see what happens and we'll see where Epic Games takes Fortnite. But currently, looks like we're in a good point and we're in a good position. So we'll see what happens in the future. And this is it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me where you guys want to land when this update drops. And once again, this is Postbots Part, signing out.